Thank you for introduction. Uh, my name is Chang Su. I'm a design engineer from Device Power and Signal Integrity team. My job is focusing on memory interface timing analysis and live validation. So today I will go over one aspect of machine learning, the memory. So I will explain why memory is one of the enablers for machine learning and how the links can be part of the solutions. Yeah, we know that deep learning is one of the many approaches of machine learning which try to simulate human brain working with neurons. In the neural network has a layered structure. In each of the layers, the dot simulates a neuron. The line between the nodes is a weight. So all the neural network does is a computation to compute the output of each of the nodes by multiplying the weight and the each of the input nodes and then plug into the activation function. So as shown in this figure, compared to other machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms scale up much better with more data. Therefore, the performance of deep learning algorithm is limited by the need for better hardware acceleration for scaling up data size and algorithm size. Recently, FPJ become a very strong competitor to TPUs. Uh, to serve as a well-based accelerator for machine learning. So with a programmable, flexible hardware configuration, FPG often provide better performance per watt to GPUs. Xilinx FPG support many types of memory technologies, either internal or external to the device. Compared to the object memory, the on-chip memory has lower latency, lower power consumption, but higher data bandwidth. IPG devices offer the industry-leading 500 megabit on-chip memory storage space. So this allows the users to create on-chip memory array of size to suit their applications and also limit some of the external components. However, the on-chip memory is very expensive and hard to expand the capacity. Therefore, the hardware accelerator still have to depend the external memory to meet the storage requirements from machine learning. And also, the bandwidth of the object memory is a bottleneck. So with Xilinx devices, engineers are able to optimize the memory solution for different applications. For example, for machine learning, uh, the intermediate data, the activation data, is usually stored in on-chip memory to reduce the data movement between the processor and the object memory. The HBM and DDR can be used to store the input data and the write weights, uh, the weight parameters. So when, uh, so when we're working on the memory solution, one big challenge is to trade off between the memory and the computer resources to achieve the best performance with the lowest latency and the lowest power consumption. So this is the most amazing part of my job in Xilinx, and this makes me a girl geek. As I mentioned in the previous slide, uh, due to the capacity limitation on chip memory, hardware acceler accelerators still have to depend, rely on the external memory to, to provide the massive storage for machine learning. So over the years, the DRAM chip density keep scaling up. Therefore, the DDR memory capacity upgrade is one of the easiest way to immediately improve the system performance. So we can increase the memory density by using high density DRAM chips or multiple die package DRAM chips. Also, the dual inline memory module, DIM, is very effective to increase memory capacity with minimum PCB space. So also, DIM, DIM is a module which contains several DRAM chips on one side or both sides of a small circuit board. DIM can be also configured to a multiple RAM configuration to further increase memory capacity. However, with multiple loading, the signal integrity of the memory channel is severely degraded. But, so the Intel system may not operate reliably at higher data rates. Fortunately, most of the case can be solved by optimizing the channel, uh, the channel configuration with the experts, with the efforts and expertise for memory design system engineers. So over the past 10 years, the DDR memory data bandwidth capability 
did not evolve quickly enough to keep pace with the bandwidth demanding from applications such as machine learning, video transcoding. So to bridge the bandwidth gap, Xilinx induced high bandwidth memory, HBM. HBM took advantage of silicon stacking technology to put FPGA and DRAM side by side in the same package. So the co-packaged DRAM structure together with 1,000 database width, HBM not only can provide extra more storage space, but also enable terabyte per second data bandwidth. So with HBM enabled FPGA devices, um, fewer DDR components are needed. For some extreme case like this example, without any external memory components, Xilinx HBM solution can provide the same capacity but much higher data bandwidth and better power efficiency. So the takeaway of my presentation today is evolving machine learning workloads demand very bandwidth requirements. Xilinx diverse memory technologies enable it. Thank you.